What is up guys, it's your boy Nintelograph Studios here, aka NCSO7 here, and welcome to my brand new TED Talk. Today I am going to be showing you guys how you can record Nintendo Switch games without a capture card. And I'm not talking like just using the camera on your phone and tripod and whatnot. No, I'm going to show you how to actually record it, like actually capture footage without the use of a capture card. No Elgato required. All you're going to need for this is a Nintendo Switch and then an Xbox One. Then you're going to want a PC and have OBS downloaded for it. Now, if you don't have OBS downloaded on your PC, I will leave a link to in the description to the place you can download it. It is free, so yeah, first step, download OBS. Next, you're going to want to plug your Nintendo Switch's HDMI cable into the back of the Xbox. And the way you're going to do this is you're going to put the HDMI in the HDMI in on your Xbox One. Then your Nintendo Switch will be connected to your Xbox One. Now how do you open that up? Well, then when you load up your Xbox One, go to One Guy. Launching this will then bring up your Nintendo Switch screen. In a second, it is going to switch to Nintendo Switch. There it is right there. Good job. Now for this example, you may have seen the line. Make sure that it's secured to the Xbox. And then um, we'll, open up, we'll open up Mario Maker 2 and we'll use that for the example. Back to the PC. We'll be back on PC now, and you're going to want to have OBS downloaded, and you're going to want to have to go through all the tutorials. Next, what you're going to want to do is very quickly, we'll get to the Xbox thing later, but we're going to go into the settings, and we're actually going to get the video at 1080p if you haven't done that thus far. And follow the various other things I've put down for settings. There. Now what you're going to want to do is you're going to go and want to open up the Xbox console companion. Open that up and then it will bring up this huge window. Wait for that to load. Then you're going to want to go over here and which says connection. You're going to want to click connection and you're going and then it will show your Xbox One if it is connected to your PC. You may have to do that first, but once you do that, it should show up right there. And what we're going to do is we're going to stream our Xbox One screen to the PC. And then it will say there are no controllers connected. That is completely fine. And then look at that. Super Mario Maker 2 is running on my PC right now. The footage is being streamed, however, so control if you actually try playing it on your PC, it might be delayed slightly, so keep that in mind. And we now successfully have gotten the footage onto the, uh, well, PC. Next, what we're going to want to do is make sure and figure out how to capture it. So we're going to want to go back to OBS, and you're going to want to make sure that the companion, console companion connection is full screen so that way we can actually capture the entire thing next what you're going to want to do is down here you're going to want to qu click this little plus that will give you this list of options you're going to want to go to display capture click, click ok you can also name it to something else click ok because for right now um, it will show something like this which is actually completely fine you are going to want this then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go and get your controller ready but I'm not going to do it for this example I'm going to hit, hit click start recording and then I'm going to go over to the uh, game and I'll just record it for a few seconds and then you're going to essentially record your video now and whatnot and once you're finally done then you're going to want to 
leave this window and go back to OBS and then you're going to want to click stop recording. And then your video clip will be saved to your PC. You will have a place to, you'll need to schedule, like choose a place to send the OBS videos to. So I made a folder called OBS videos, which I use to put my videos in. And then we're going to bring up the video and play it. And then it shows the game playing. And this is completely a video clip. And that is pretty much that. And through editing, you can trim stuff out like that. You can trim stuff out and edit it through editing software. You could probably do it through anything. You could probably do it through anything. Heck, probably even Movie Maker. You can always trim it so that way you can get rid of the start. But that is pretty much how to record Nintendo Switch on PC. Well, basically record and even stream it. However, streaming, that is not going to be covered in this video. However, what if you want to get audio in your video? Well, this is what you're going to have to do. What you'll need is a headset that connects into the bottom of the Xbox One controller. You can probably use a PS4 controller or any controller, but we're going to use Xbox for now. And then you're going to want a connector that can connect, that a USB connector that can connect into the bot, into this port right there on the Xbox controller. Then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go back into the settings and then you're going to want to go into audio and then you're going to want to select your headset for like the desktop audio too. Unfortunately, it's not working right now for me. It does kind of depend sometimes. You might have to reconnect your controller various times. You may have to restart OBS, but if it is working, you should have Xbox controller with headset in here and then you're going to want to go to mic and auxiliary audio and then it should give you another microphone option through the headset and then you can apply that and then you can actually change like how loud it is let's say whoops go back to the audio um I'll add a microphone and down here you can change how loud it is so that way this isn't too loud so that way people can hear your voice a little easier. And that is pretty much all you need to know. That is all you need to know in order to record Nintendo Switch games. I know it sounds a little dumb, but it works. It works. It may not appear the best, it may not sound the greatest, but it works pretty well. So if you want to get Nintendo Switch footage but you don't have a capture card but you do have an Xbox One, go for it. Go use this method that works. Um, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I really hope that this was helpful to you guys. If you guys do have any, need any help with anything, please let me know in the comments section and I'll try and help you out the best I can. And that is all. Thanks for listening to my TED Talk. NCLS7 signing out.